Well, I'm talking to eminent scientists and scientists <laughs> as well, so it's like a mirror. Very good, very good. <laughs> I'm sure you've uh, known your colleagues already. Stefan <laughs> Schönert, from yes. Professor Schönert, and, and, okay, and Professor Paul. And so computer science, yeah. so uh, well high I performance I computing. This is the another thing, area. Yeah, the thing is that I started as a theoretical physicist, and then somehow, because we were doing also research on uh, relativistic astrophysics. I was forced to do also some computing as well, to do some modeling of neu neutron stars or bursters. <coughs> and, to, and then uh, automatically you, you go into mathematical modeling of complex systems. It was very interesting. So this is the, you have been uh, on this campus before? No. You are here for the first time? Well, may maybe we walk out for, for a second. And uh, it was built by Heinz Meyer Leibniz. At that time, nothing else was here at all. So, um, according, so this started, and then 20 years, not too much happened here. And then chemistry came, and uh, mechanical engineering, informatics, mathematics. The building behind is the is the successor of the egg-shaped neutron source. It's a, uh, let me see, a 30 megahertz uh, neutron source uh, working with highly rich, uh, very uh, fast neutrons. So Engineering, life sciences, medicine. We have two university hospitals, um, which um, has been different disciplines and is also the first mm. what we call excellence initiative, uh, some more than 10. Uh, this is a, a, a hotspot where you became the president of this uh, wonderful uh, country uh, where the, the origins. The aim of my visit is to try to develop further relations between Armenia and Germany and to try to develop further uh, relations between Armenian and, and German universities and academia and scientists. We are a relatively new republic, very old nation, but a new republic. And uh, because of that, what we have inherited from back of 70 more years of being a part of Soviet Union was a good basis of science mm. in Armenia. Somehow the Soviet government recognized the talent of people, have invested a lot of money and in infrastructure starting from particle accelerator up to astrophysical observatory and institutes so on plasma physics, laser physics, biochemistry and so on and so forth. We have inherited as a small state with a big scientific platform. Mm -hmm. To maintain is one thing, but my aim is not to maintain, but to develop it further. Mm -hmm. Maybe make it, maybe it will be smaller, but it at, at, at least it should be one of the best. And to be one of the best, you have to partner with the best, and you are the best, and that's why I'm here. I'm very pleased to hear today that we already, without any real strong effort from the government side, we have more than 30 students here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's a great achievement, and, and we met one of them here. And that's the future of my country, because the vision I have and a lot of uh, Armenians have of, of Armenia is not a country, of course, based on natural resources or based on huge scale of agriculture. No, it's a country that will have everything, but the main locomotive of society will be new technology, high tech, new ideas, startups. And that's where we are hopefully heading as a state, as a nation, 
and the nation, as probably you know, is much bigger than the state, three or four times bigger than three and a half, three point five million people living in Armenia. And they are among this big nation. There are a lot of them who are in science, starting from the United States, Russia, Europe, and elsewhere. So that's the future of Armenia. That's why I'm here to learn, to tell also that uh, I'll be supporting as the President of the Republic, uh, every effort to develop Armenia and to develop relations between scientists and new technology centers that are here in Germany. And I'm happy to say that I had these discussions with your President of State, Mr. Steinmeier. Uh, a couple of weeks, months ago I was here on official visit and also had uh, quite deep discussions with your Chancellor Chancellor Merkel, both here in Berlin, but also when she was visiting in Armenia, and she will find time to see one of our small achievements there, and she was very impressed. And I'm happy to say that uh, that most probably I will get, I think I, I have their support in developing this venture partnership with German universities. And as a, one of the first ones, I thought that I, it should be your university and your center. That's why I'm here to start a new friendship. Uh, also, by the way, uh, Bavaria uh, does not really have uh, natural resources a portion out of this uh, any longer. Uh, in the Middle Age, that makes no sense and creates also a limited uh, time frame. With environmentally friendly technologies and at greater speeds than ever before, generation talents and the future of our employers. Exceptional in teaching and research, ambitious goals we squarely face international competition and connect with people from around the world as well as university rankings. We have been fulfilling an important mission to kindle the economy with the spark of science. Alumni students and researchers. Our imagination and our passionate desire to succeed, we hold the power to improve the world and all of our lives. We are two. Our Institute for Advanced Study is more or less the same as the one of the famous Princeton Institute for Advanced Study. So to be a hub, how, how it is and how it was in Princeton, uh, and we are uh, an institute for advanced study in uh, university programs where international scientists of the highest level collaborate with scientists in our university. Hans Fischer Junior for the for science scientists on ideas which are not detailed uh, at the moment when they are coming up. Because we want to give this to you, and because usually they are eminent professors at their own university, but they are here for the technical and international collaboration. So it's exactly uh, what you were saying. This is uh, our uh, idea, our spirit, how to connect. The programs or projects, each of them, as each startup is financed by you or through different fund, funds, or like Humboldt or. Yeah. Very different scales. Size. We have the smaller scales, which are the Planck scales, um, which is, uh, you know, President Sikasa knows exactly what I'm talking about, very, very smaller scales, um, which um, you cannot go below, up to the largest scales you can imagine that is the size of the universe. And so for this we have built this excellent first origins which brings together, of course, institutions. And we're trying to find more and more links between these different groups. We subdivided our science into five, what we call research units, so, so five basic, and want to connect them in a novel way by uh, asking questions to which... Well, Armenia is a small country, but uh, you are lucky enough uh, having a president who is an eminent scientist at the same time, and that helps a lot. 
He's an astrophysicist, uh, he has colleagues here. We got Armenian students uh, being happy studying and researching at TUM. Uh, so it's uh, my pleasure uh, to continue on the vision of your president uh, to uh, agree on a uh, official cooperation. We have uh, several students from Armenia and I hear uh, very good uh, uh, judgments about them. Uh, they are working very hard, they are smart, and so another reason to continue this collaboration. And myself, I'd like to see Armenia really and play the oldest uh, uh, and play the organ in one of the oldest uh, Christian churches. I have learned about this project and I'm very excited about it. I have talked to the president, uh, Dr. Sarkisian, and he has emphasized that artificial intelligence and computer vision are of central importance for Armenia and for the future of Armenia. And of course, I'm very proud and delighted to hear that, uh, and I strongly support this engagement in this field. And do you see any field of cooperation? Yes, there are many fields of cooperation and one of the most central ingredients to doing great research and great technology is recruiting young talents. And uh, Armenia is a country that has a lot of young and talented people and we'd be excited to host them here to foster exchanges and collaborations between TU Munich and uh, Armenia. One possibility would be indeed fellowship programs, maybe government supported programs. This is something that Dr. Sarkisian just mentioned himself, that there should be more exchange of students and researchers and that one should indeed install uh, uh, fellowship programs. We can see it. <laughs> yes. When? When? Yeah. So, uh, quite honestly, I am not the person in charge of installing fellowship programs, but this is something I would strongly encourage and support.